primary schools should become academies for the same reason that all schools, I believe, should become academies. It gives you this autonomy. You, you know, the head teacher is in charge of their school, working with their governors. And uh, this is putting the school in the hands of the professionals. So for primary schools, it does mean that the head teacher can really focus on, on their school, on their children, and what those children need. Make sure the curriculum's all right. Make sure the length of the day is right. Make sure that you're working with the people you want to work with. Make sure you're making the resources work for you in the best way. So as far as I'm concerned, you know, academies allow the teachers to teach the heads to run their schools. And uh, it's the same for secondaries, it's the same for primaries. Great. It can be said that it's a bit daunting to become an academy, especially if you're a primary school, because primaries tend to be a bit smaller than, than secondaries. But uh, no, I, I think there is nothing to fear, because what, what academies do are actually having schools working together. So in fact, it is, some, it is a way of working more with your colleagues, with your peers, with your local schools. And uh, we, the department, can help you. You know, there, it's not a journey that you take on your own. It's, it's the governors, it's the heads, it's the staff, it's the parents talking about what's best for their, their school, working with the department, great team at the department who will work it through with you, who have done it a number of times, so know how they can help best. And uh, that way, I think, you can really go forward. So it, it really is nothing to fear, but change is always hard. So, you know, we understand that. We have seen primaries joining together to become academies. I think it benefits the primaries even more than the secondaries. Because they're smaller and they can work together more, then they can see efficiencies of scale they can see some economies of scale they can see how they can share resources so I think the way forward even more than for secondaries for primaries is to work together and we've seen some examples um, of, of very small primaries actually coming together and forming a group that can then share the central resources if you like um, and it is it is a great thing but I think also um, primaries working with secondaries is a good idea as well and we're seeing that in the all through academies in the federations of academies where there is secondary and primary so you can get support from the professionals within your own profession underperforming schools will benefit from academy status because it provides an extra resource now it's not extra money it's extra expertise if you like it's bringing in governors local people onto the board people who really want to focus and bring something to this particular school so it's an association with success so an underperforming primary which obviously has had many challenges you know that this is just an added benefit that can really help it to move forward because there's no head that doesn't want their school to move forward but you know sometimes it is really difficult and you bring in some extra resource on the board you bring in some more support behind um, the running of the school it does mean then that the teachers can focus on teaching instead of worrying perhaps about the administration of the school so academies really do help the underperforming schools